So this video is going to be my new face routine. Um, I'm going to go over really more so about my concealer and how I apply my foundation. If you guys want to see a more detailed video on how I contour and blush and all that jazz, definitely thumbs up this video. Or if you want to see an eyebrow tutorial, thumbs up this video. Um, also, I did record this makeup look, but I didn't put it up. So if you do want to see this makeup look, definitely go ahead and thumbs up this video also. So yeah, so in this video, again, this is my updated face routine what I've been doing um, if I just want the most coverage basically as you guys know I don't wear makeup every day so yeah so if you guys are interested all you have to do is keep watching okay guys so basically what I do um, as far as my face routine um, first thing I do is I moisturize I use the clean and clear morning glow moisturizer and it's oil free because I got some oily skin and I just kind of like, lately I've been doing it like this, where I've kind of like squirted on my face a little bit. Down to my brows. And I'm just moisturizing. So, this goes all over. Okay, and I moisturize because, um... Even if you have oily skin, it's great to moisturize your face. Um, it protects your face underneath. Not the rub concealer. But yeah, so I do this. And then... Um, next thing I do is I apply a lip balm. I'm just going to use my baby lips. This one's in... What is this? Peach Kiss. Just so by the time that I get to doing my lipstick, my lips are already moisturized. So yeah, um, the mattifying moisturizer. So I've been um, using this as a primer. This has SPF 15 and the moisturizer also has SPF 15. But um, I'm using this because it does definitely matte out my face. I don't use this actually as a moisturizer because um, I kind of don't like it as a moisturizer. But I've been using it as a primer just these past... Um, couple of days and I've been liking it and I'll discuss a little bit more about this um, in my next video because um, this is a part of my haul video that I'm doing so yeah so I just applied into um, five areas um, the most oiliest places and then I just go ahead and rub that in I have pores like my pores are the biggest here here right and here then I have like a few there but yeah so just doing that and this is where I get the oiliest also so it definitely helps control the shininess that I get okay you don't need a lot of this though because if you apply too much it will leave you looking a little ashy that is something I noticed. So, now that that's all on, the next thing I do is I do, um, it. this part actually alter. it changes depending on how I'm feeling. Um, either I'll do concealer first and then foundation or foundation then concealer. Today I'm just going to go ahead and go straight into foundation using my CoverGirl Queen Collection Soft Copper. And I actually need to go and get more of this because I'm like really running out so putting on the back of my hand I'm going to use um, the elf powder brush it's really not a powder brush I don't know why they call it this but this is what I've been using I alternate between this and the beauty blender depending on what's going on with me but I'm just going to use this today and I just start off by stippling it on and then rubbing it in Okay. And that's my phone going off. But yeah, and then just rubbing it in. And then I just work in sections. That hasn't changed. Just working in sections. And um, so I usually start here and then I move over and then up. So stippling it on first. And then buffing it out.
I get my jawline. I don't bring foundation down into my neck, but I do bring it into my jawline. Okay, and I like this brush because it definitely gives like a seamless finish. So like I could probably like apply like a streak and blend it and you won't even see a seam in it. And that's why I really like this brush because it definitely blends out really good. Okay, then I just proceed to like under my eyes because depending on the day, I may not have to wear concealer. Today I know I have because I've been like sleep deprived the past couple of days but um right under the eye and normally sometimes I do my foundation first before I do eye makeup just so I don't ruin anything but since I don't have any makeup on under my eye today I'm not gonna worry about it and I'm just gonna do the forehead I don't apply a lot to the forehead um because I don't actually have to. My forehead is pretty good, but I do apply it because I do use concealer um, around my brows. And then I just take the edge of the brush and blend out right above that. And then I just break it into the hairline like that. Okay. And bust it into the hairline. Yeah, then the next thing I do is I move on to concealer. I kind of really don't need concealer today, but I'm going to do it for you guys because this is an updated thing. Um, one thing I've started to use under my eyes is my Urban Decay Primer Potion. I do this because it helps. I have a lot of really small, fine lines under my eye. And I've found, since I've been using this under the eye, I have like got no creasing at all I have not seen a crease under my eyes since I started doing this um and then I just kind of like take it I look up and then I just pat it in just like you would on your eyelid and I just get it right under the eye because that's really where I need it and it's going to leave like a, a ashy look it's gonna because it's a primer it's like the same primer you use for your eyelid so but since I've been doing this I'm telling you I haven't got any creasing under the eye whatsoever between that and the nyc uh, skin finish that i used to set with no creases you guys no creases and i just look up and i pat it in with my finger like that then i'm using my 10 color uh camouflage palette from bh cosmetics and um yeah i've used this bad boy and i haven't hit pan on any yet I'm about to, though, on this one, but I haven't actually hit pan yet. So, yeah. So, what I'm going to do, which is going to be, like, a shock probably to you guys, is I'm going to go ahead and use this peach color here, the second darkest peach color. And I'm just going to pick up a little bit of that. Not too much, just a little bit. I'm just going to pick it up. What I do is, like, I pick it up and then, like, I tap it just to make sure I only get a little bit. And then I'm taking a very little bit of this and I'm only going to apply this in the areas where it is the darkest. Right in these little, little pockets. I'm just going to pop that right in that pocket. And applying a peach corrector is going to basically take out the darkness. So when I put my actual concealer over it, you'll see no darkness or nothing. It'll just be like one tone. So you see the difference? Can you see that difference? How that peach corrector tones out that darkness by so much. And then I'm just patting it in really good. And you see that difference? Pretty amazing, right? So that's like a little tip that you guys can remember for women of color. Even for like lighter skins, use, you know, you can use any of these correctors. Um, they also have green correctors for like blue under eyes and things like that. So look at the correctors because they definitely do work. I never noticed what these are for until, um, I think her name is Creative Diva. I totally took this under eye thing from her. I definitely did. So 
yeah and then I just kind of like bring it on the side of my nose a little bit to kind of start off my contouring okay and then I go ahead into my normal color which is this one mixed with just a tidbit of that I'm not gonna use my Mac because for some reason I'm not liking the Mac recently for some reason I don't know what it is but I'm just like not liking my Mac concealer anymore and I'm not sure if that has anything if it really has anything to do with anything I'm just really not liking it anymore um I just feel like it is it my color and it may be because um that may be because um it, the weather's changing and I'm starting to kind of get a little pale so that may be it, but I just haven't been liking it. So I've been using the BH Cosmetics palette. And then so I'm just going to go ahead and pat, 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 pat. And then to you guys, it looks blended already. It's definitely not blended. So now what I'm going to do is just keep a wet wipe handy at all times, you guys, and wipe my finger off so I don't smear concealer somewhere else. I'm going to take the Beauty Blender love this i'm going to spray it with a little bit of fix plus this is a mini one that i got from mac and this will also be in a haul video all right and i'm just going to blend out those harsh lines that i made and just blend it all together this is why i like the beauty blender because it's going to just blend the two concealers together and it's going to make it really really nice so going ahead and doing that just to make sure I didn't create any lines or anything so yeah so that's that then um, at this point what I would do is I'll go ahead and proceed to contouring and um, all that jazz the contour that I use is the ebony bronze cover girl Oh no, before I do that actually, is I set my under eye. I use the NYC Smooth Skin uh, Loose Face Powder in Naturally Beige. And you don't need a lot of this. You, you don't. You don't need a lot of this. If you use too much, you will know. Um, it may not look like it to the eye, but when you take a picture, it's going to make that look so ashy. And I'm just going to set it. I'm not necessarily going for that bright under eye look. I'm just setting it. And you use very minimal product. I love this stuff. It's like two bucks at Walmart. So yeah, do that. And then I go ahead and I contour.